oh no, you know, this transient advantage stuff doesn't apply to us. Our industry's been the same for 150 years and it'll continue the same way. Oh my God, the world is changing, the sky is falling, and that's not very productive. So what I'm really trying to get people to move toward is a shift in their mindset. There's a lot that you can do to succeed and even thrive. So, Rita, what ideas would you like to share with us today? Thank you very much, Julia. Uh, so it's a del delight to be here. Uh, Richard and I have been talking for some time about this conference, and I'm excited to be here with so many like-minded souls. So let's say you come to a conference like the Drucker Forum, and you say, wow, you know, I really need to think about the future. What does the future hold for my business? So let's do a little thought experiment. Imagine to yourselves that you are Mr. Sony Walkman at the height of that business's success. And so you call up R&D and they send a delegation. And they tell you, guess what? In the future, no more AA batteries. No more worrying gizmos. In fact, no more albums, no more media. It's all going to be songs and they're going to fly through the air and land on your hard drive. Oh, and one last thing, the music they reproduce is going to be less high quality than the music we can make with our current technology. You could be forgiven for saying, you know, please go back to R&D where you can do minimal damage, right? I mean, that's a very scary prospect. So we've got to have some way of freeing resources from being trapped in the existing businesses and getting it to where they need to fund the future. So what I'd like to add as, as a layer of thinking is some observations from the world of strategy. And I would say for my entire career in strategy, and I've been at Columbia Business School in New York for quite a long time now, uh, but for my entire career in strategy, there was this one beautiful thing we were all supposed to be creating. And this was a sustainable competitive advantage, you know? It's a beautiful thing, right? So the idea is you, you find something that gives you a competitive advantage, you throw up entry barriers like crazy, and you enjoy that advantage for a long, long period of time. And that's great if you can find one. But here's the dilemma. In more and more parts of our economy, I'm finding that model doesn't really work. And in fact, in many cases, it leads companies to making exactly the wrong choices, to making the wrong decisions about what they need to be doing. A Kodak, sadly, you know, literally blowing up its former factories because it can't afford to pay the real estate taxes on them. Now, the reason I think this story is so important is because it didn't have to be that way. You know, what happened at Kodak was what a friend of mine calls nostalgia as business strategy. You know, it was so good, we just couldn't bear to look at anything else. Well, so if that's the world more and more of us are going to be living in, where advantages emerge, they have an opportunity to be exploited for a while, but then they go into erosion. What, what's the new playbook for strategy? You know, if, if we do it as a routine matter, we put into places the mechanisms to get new ideas incubated, get them up to scale, get them into the marketplace, and make them part of our future core operations. That's what it's going to take, proficiency. So what I want audiences to take away when I talk is the idea that even in a world of transient competitive advantages, that's not a recipe for disaster. Uh, there are many things you can do that will help you uh, survive and navigate these uh, waters and even thrive doing it.